Welcome to a brand new episode of Johnson's Court. Car episode on our way to go see Logic and Juicy J in Akron, Ohio, where the king himself was born. Welcome all to a brand new episode. Zach, how are we doing? You haven't been on a podcast in a minute. Let our fans, our subscribers know what's going on. Doing good, man. Glad to be back on Johnson's Court. Uh, we're headed, like you said, to Ohio. We still got a few hours left on our drive, but perfect time to bust out a good podcast. I haven't been on an episode in a long time. Uh, excited to break down the finals, you know, chat about sports, man. Yeah, so this is going to be a great episode. You know, car episodes are always, I feel like they're they are fun. They're, they're a little unique and kind of different in just the aspect <laughs> of, you know, it, it's a moving element. Like when I'm sitting there and I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm sitting on a screen. Okay, I'm looking at a piece of paper. Like, no, like everything we're going to talk about today. Yeah, the finals. Yeah, Jimmy Butler and uh, Nikola Jokic, who should have been the three-time MVP, but wasn't. It's just cool because like it's a moving element. Like I'm not looking down. I'm looking. I'm not looking at my phone. It's like I'm watching the fucking road. I'm, oh, sorry. Excuse my language. Sorry for all those kids out there who might be watching the podcast. But <laughs> we're gonna get into it. So the NBA final starts tomorrow. It is between the Denver Nuggets of the West, who are the Western Conference champions. First, Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat of the Eastern Conference. They were able to battle out. Beat the Boston Celtics who almost came down from a 3-0 deficit it had never happened before at all it could have happened but they were able to close it out in Boston at the TD Garden kind of crazy was that just kind of give me your thoughts of the Miami Heat of kind of where they started the, you know <laughs> stay the, in the left two lanes thank you very much we got the GPS going we got third guest third guest on the podcast where how they the way that they started in the play-in tournament being the first eight seed to make it to the or second eight seed to make it to the NBA Finals, and you know just kind of let us know what you think of the Miami Heat and who they were able to beat, and then you know we'll talk about the Denver Nuggets as well. Well, I'm coming at it from a little more of a casual fan's perspective. I uh, I do follow the NBA more heavily in playoff time though, so I didn't I wasn't watching a lot of Miami basketball during the regular season, <clears throat> and. Uh, I just love Jimmy Butler, bro. Like I said, more of a casual fan's perspective. Um, so just seeing him, I don't, I know they have a great team, but to see him really lead from the front, and even if he's not leading the stat sheet, he's he's really like the glue that keeps that team together. And I love the story of it. Like I'm pulling for the Heat. I want I want them to, to win the finals. Um, I haven't watched a lot of regular season basketball, like I said, but seeing you know the Milwaukee series. Boston series like like Jimmy has really won me over this playoffs and I want to see him raise that ring bro did you see uh, he wasn't when Bam had the Eastern Conference trophy he didn't want to hold it I did see that I, I want to see him raise that Larry O'Brien man get a finals MVP like you know really solidify himself as a superstar which I know he already has but like really you know get his ring get his get his flowers you know because he deserves it Michael Jordan 2.0, it's his son. Um, I don't care how much conspiracy theory anybody wanna, wants to go about that, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's just kind of funny, it's a joke, guys. But no, the Heat were able to make it, I don't mean to be so loud, but we're in the car. Um, the Heat were able to, they lost their first game against the Bulls, you know, versus the Hawks to not be the seventh seed. So they would have played the Boston Celtics in the first round, but end up playing in the Eastern and the Eastern Conference Finals because then they were able to beat the Bulls down by like three or four, you know, in the fourth of the second playing game, able to win that, go on to play the Bucks in the first round. Yes, Giannis got hurt, didn't play a game, I think, but they were still able to beat the Bucks and then able to go on and beat the Philadelphia 76ers, who had the MVP, Joel Embiid, but he was hurt. I guess his injury in his knee or whatever really should have had surgery. It takes a long time for him to recover from that, I guess, or whatnot from the reports that I heard. So I'm not really too sure, you know, I mean, James Harden, the Bears, should have stepped up. He did some games, but just inconsistency. Lost to the 76ers that round. Um, I had them um, beating the Heat in that series, but obviously it didn't happen. And then, you know, they go on and play the Boston Celtics. You know, they go up 3-0. Then, you know, almost blow it, you know, bring it back to Game 7. So, you know, really cool to see him. It wasn't as close as Game 7 as, you know, we would all like to see, but they were able to, you know, be 
in the finals and super excited to watch the Miami Heat because they are all dogs and just super excited to see what they're able to do. They've got a squad. They've got a lot of undrafted players who step up and they're able to, you know, they play team basketball really well. It's very the, Eric Spolster is the Greg Popovich of the East. Mm -hmm. I would say that. <laughs> yeah, he. I think he's one of the best coaches in the league. Like top two and he's probably not two. And he, a fun fact, Kevin Love, will be playing in the finals, and every time he's been in the playoffs, he's made the finals. Wow, that's a good stat. Never knew that. So, kind of cool there, but we'll go to the West and talk about the Denver Nuggets. They were the number one seed. Deserving, should have been the number one seed. They're fucking dogs. And the what? first... <laughs> Pat Mac, shout out to Pat McAfee. You know, watch, watch that show a lot. We're not sponsored by them whatsoever. Just want to shout them out. Great, great program. And, you know, they beat the Timberwolves first round, kind of figured that was coming. And then the second round, they played the Phoenix Suns. That series could have went either way. Yes, Chris Paul got hurt. Maybe that was the deciding factor. Don't really know. But Devin Booker's a dog. Kevin Durant's a dog. So they just weren't able to get it done with trading away, you know, you know, Malik Bridges in that trade, you know, whatnot from the Nuggets. Then they were able to go on and play the Lakers, who I didn't think were going to make the Western Conference. Um, finals, which was like crazy to me. I thought they were going to at least get beat by, I thought they were going to be first round, but you know, they proved me wrong. Um, but then lost, you know, to the Nuggets, which I figured the Nuggets were going to win. So, happy to see the Nuggets in there in the finals. Uh, you know, what's your opinion kind of about the Nuggets there? I mean, obviously, they're the favorite. And like I said, more of a casual fan, I'm going to be pulling for the underdogs. But man, if you're just going off what should happen. The Nuggets should be the champions this year. They're, I mean, I, of course, like I said, I'm pulling for the underdog, but most likely I, I kind of feel like Jokic is going to get his first ring. They're going to bring a championship out to Denver. It'll be the first one. They don't have one yet. They're they're a good team, you know, and not, like none of their players really. I'm trying to think, none of them were big free agency signings, you know. No, Jamal Murray's been there a while, and Nikola's been there a while. Um, Aaron Gordon's been there a while. Michael Jordan <laughs> Jr.'s been there a while. You know, Bruce Brown was a great addition they picked up, um, you know, from the Nets. You know, he, he's a dog. You know, they both, this is a great finals matchup. If you love basketball, and it's not necessarily like superstars of like a lot of people in the Lakers and the Celtics winning the finals. Yeah, you get more viewership or whatever. But between a great hard-fought basketball between these two teams, it's going to be one of the best finals that like you're going to watch. And – the next couple of years, I believe so. I mean, that's just me personally. But I think it's going to be a great fight. I think, you know, this could potentially really, it really could go seven games. I don't really know. But, you know, I'll tell you who I think is going to win and, and, and in how many games. But once again, like I said, it's going to be a great series. It's going to be a great final. So if you guys are not tuning in, um, you're really going to miss out on the finals that we're going to watch here. So, you know, we kind of gave our little, you know, wrap up of the he and of the Nuggets. You know, shout out to Jeff. You know, I know, you know, you're a big he fan, and so you you saw him go to the final. So I know you're rooting for them. You know, pulling for them. You know, Devin uh, Devin Conan. You know, you're rooting for the Nuggets. You've been a big Denver Nuggets fan for the longest time. When Kenneth Reed was there, man. So you know, and that's that. You know, animal, that's, baby. The animal. Exactly. So that you know, been quite a long time, and you know, we're just super excited to you know see teams. I like to see teams who have you know either never won a championship or have one or two championships, you know, to go there, um, especially with the players on there, you know. Of course, yeah, it would have been cool to see LeBron. Cool would have been to just end it back in the finals. But, you know, it, it's cool to see people who have never been there before. So, yeah, this is like a series for basketball fans. If the Lakers and the Celtics would have made the finals, then, like, LeBron fans and Jason Tatum fans would have tuned in. But Nuggets versus Heat for the championship, that's a series for basketball fans. Exactly. I 100% I agree with that. And so, yeah, we'll just hold it. And we will just have to, this video is about to wrap up here shortly, just so we can pay attention to the road and things like that. So, a little short, but, you know, getting right to the point. I'll go ahead and get my predictions. I think that, I think it's going to be a dogfight, no matter what, whoever comes out on top. But the man did not get his third MVP, and rightly freaking should have. And that's why I think he's going to be the finals MVP and the Denver Nuggets are going to bring it home in the Mile High City. You know, Jamal Murray coming back from that torn ACL, you know, I saw that, you know, he thought he was going to be traded away. You know, he wasn't as good. This man averaged 30 points on 50-40-90 shooting in the Western Conference. 
stupid stuff. What other player has done that? I don't. I think he might have joined somebody else. I'm not too sure, but freaking insane. So you know, super happy for him. I am a Michael Porter Jr. fan. Not a big Aaron Gordon fan, but you know, maybe you know, trade his minutes out with Bruce Brown. But I think the Denver, Denver Nuggets get it done. I think it happens, like I said. But it's gonna be a great one. But that's my prediction. That's who I think is gonna win. We know who Zach's gonna win. I think the Nuggets win in six. But I was gonna say so, that too, bro. No, they're gonna uh, do it in six. You, you think the Nuggets or the Heat are gonna do it in six? Denver in six. Denver in six. I thought you were pulling for the Heat. That's my. I'm, that's who I want to win. But if we're making, if you're selling me like, you gotta put money on it. Denver in six. Okay. All right. All right. That's well, fine. I gotta put my heart on it. I'll take Miami and say. I understand that, though. You know, especially when, like, you like the two teams. Like, I don't hate the Miami Heat. I don't hate the Denver Nuggets. Right. So, it's not like, oh, like, I, I would despise if the Heat win. Absolutely not. If the Heat win, I'm going to tip my fucking hats off to them. If the Nuggets win, I'm going to tip my hat off to them as well. It's it's going to be a great finals. And if you truly love basketball, you're going to watch these finals. Yeah. And if you don't, you're missing out. <laughs> 100%. So... That's really about it. Like I said, we got to get back to driving. Let's listen to some music. We're going to enjoy this concert. We're super excited. So shout out to Logic. Not endorsed by him either. But, you know, we're just super what? excited uh, to go see <laughs> him and everything. And, you know, man, I'm, I, I'm living life to the fullest. I know Zach over here is living life to the fullest. So thank you guys so much for the love and the support. You know, shout out to all the people that, you know, I talked about in the video. And, you know, give it a like, subscribe, you know, put it on your story. Normally Rio's here with us. But, you know, this is a car uh, car uh, podcast, so you know we'll get Rio back on very again soon as well, and hopefully Beagle as well. You know uh, Beagle's doing pretty well. You know living on PA. Um, shout out to him. Hopefully I can you know go see him this summer. So thank you guys all for love and support. Peace, love, positivity.